All right, for our core variations today, we're gonna to go through three exercises, back to back to back, going from each exercise to the next as quickly as possible, but I want good quality reps and holds. So stick right with me. We're gonna go from a tall kneeling farmer's hold to a front plank to some uh, stability ball roll up. So you'll need some heavy weights. Um, you'll just need some, some space to do a front plank. And you'll need either a uh, stability ball or something like that. Stability ball, yoga ball, Swiss ball, all the same thing. One of the larger balls. I don't have one here, so I'm gonna go with a little bit of a uh, smaller one. It's gonna be a little small for me, but just so you get a feel. So, first one, tall kneeling farmer's holds. We're gonna hold these for 30 seconds, okay? So, nice heavy weights down by the side. I'll show it with uh, kettlebells real quick, and then I'll just go to dumbbells because those are usually more widely available. So we're holding, we're gonna drive the hips up and through. Grip those kettlebell handles hard and push down towards the floor. So it's kind of like a half plank up nice and tall and we're just holding for 30 seconds. At the end, we sit back. All right, again, since dumbbells are a little bit more widely available, I'll show with those and we'll go with those. So driving those up and through and we're going. Deep breaths in, long controlled exhales out. By the time you get to the end of that 30 seconds, you should feel like you have to put the weight down. That's how heavy those should be. Deep breath in, forceful exhales out. Good, we're about 20 seconds in, another 10. Make sure at the end of the set we sit back on the heels, we don't just collapse forward. Good, and sit back, that's 30 seconds. We're gonna go straight from there into a front plank. Forearms and toes, feet together, forearms, shoulders uh, just above the elbows. So we're gonna come down to that position, hands as wide as the shoulders, and we're going. Feet together, pull those elbows back towards the toes, continue to breathe, deep breath in, forceful exhales out. We're holding, we're about 15 seconds into that 30 second hold. seconds good and rest all right so that's exercise two last one stability ball rollout so we're gonna put our forearms on there it's gonna look a little bit iffy because this ball is a little bit smaller but with a regular size yoga ball Swiss ball stability ball whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing you'll have more support so we're gonna go forearms on there Basically, what I'm gonna be doing is, if you've ever seen like an ab wheel rollout, same idea. I'm gonna be reaching up, my hips are gonna come through, and then I'm gonna pull everything back in together. So my forearms go on the ball. I'm going to roll it away from me, reach my hips through, and pull right back in. Like I said, it could look a little bit better, but I don't have the full size ability ball. So reaching, going to seven, that's two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Go through that list of three exercises as many times as it's denoted in your personal training. 